Hello, this is Haku Debian, and I am here with the end of death. I stopped counting the parts once I stopped having numbers for them. The article is Hypnotrolane. What that means, we will find out as we read. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. If you do not, that is fair enough. We're going to get right into it then. TR7K2 2UD9X 53GN8 Status and Reserve The Man None or High <clears throat> Value They really need commas here 5 million in USD or Three million seven hundred eleven and six hundred seventy five GPD. No, GPB for capsule or sixty five milligrams. Availability established supply train. Identifier Hypnotrolene. Description Items are a mixture of powdered substances contained within and bichrome, purple, or black mass. Medicinal capsules, ingested items to do slow wave sleep, stage 3 non rev sleep, and significantly lower heart rate and metabolism beyond what is, is possible naturally and through modern science. This hibernation is permanent. The substance contained within the item circumvents its pharmacokinetics by self replicating via the consumer's endocrine system. This is from Marshall Carter and Dark LLP. Initial report. Author Su Yun Lee. Interest high. Date January 3rd, 2020. Identifier Hypnotrolene. As part of their investigations into newly anomalous behaviors and events, the Foundation rated self acclaimed the Youth Anasia Center in Palm Beach, Florida. The is the facility was not actually capable of providing this service, as was every other firm claimed to do so. However, this facility came the closest to replicating death. Jacob Apostman, primary operator of the Palm Beach facility, was taken into Foundation for custody. Apostman's co-workers, specifically those not present during the raid, were offered protection and employment in exchange for any and all materials and knowledge associated with the product they were offering. Every tablet it replicated by MC and D was faulty. The product obeyed pharmacokinetics and eventually worked its way out of the human system. However, working around this is possible. Copies of research dedicated to suspended animation provided by Prenezius Labs in exchange for funding into immunosuppressant suppression in products are available. Initial analysis indicates that the Prenezius Labs research is directly applicable to hypnotrolene. It is my recommendation that both of the Posman capsules and the Prometheus Labs suspend an animation research which be used in conjunction to accomplish Posman's original intentions while simultaneously standardizing a manufacturing process. This will establish a global supply chain. Rebranding can be more or less accomplished with minimal effort considering the localized nature of Posman's facility and the extent of rejected modifications. The resulting product can be sold as a, a euthanasia supplement considering the latter's absence from the current market and the progressively increased demand for the service. Filed under TR7K2, 2UUDX D9X, 53GN8. Marshall Old Carter and Dark LLP. But the Marshall Carter and Dark is a business is within the foundation that adds cells and almost objects. Anyway. <sighs> Inventory information. Owner. Marshall Carter and Dark LLP. Quantity. 97,428 individually packaged. Available from suppliers on demand.
Prometheus Labs, 16. Kerner uses references for synthesizing the array of products. Exclusively, exclusive supply not at, unimpacted. The Foundation, 183. Stored as SCP-3866, adheres to pharmacokinetics under certain common conditions, which, is, which makes it faulty. Others, 3200, four crates of product en route to supplies in Japan were never accounted for. Black market activity suspected. Few untracked items believed to exist. Black market monitoring has yet to indicate. Conception of totality of loss of product, nor the creation of synthetic copies. Memo 21 regarding None slash high. TR7K2-2U with the 9X, 53G and 8. Sender. Su Yan Lee. Re Receptant. Juliana Vasquez. I don't think I said that right, but I'm not going to try again. I've had to install a filter on my inbox regarding the none slash high demand issue. Your inquiry was the most vocal, and it appears you've ma even made sure to gather signatures. While I appreciate the dedication to your argument, I believe this much understanding can and it should be quickly laid to rest. There, these are, are, there are normal goods and there are inferior goods. Inferior goods are marketed by an increase is consumption as income decreases. Normal goods are the opposite. Their consumption increases as income increases. I recommend envisioning frozen food and restaurant food, respectively. Hypnotrilene is neither an inferior good nor a normal good, according to those exact definitions. It is a single-use product, the last product a customer uses in their conscious existence. As such, there is no utility for it, it during the majority of the customer's existence. The demand is zero. However, should we relax the definitions, then uh, hypnotrilene is a normal good. Its demand increases as time, not income, increases. To preface, we understand the appeal of immortality, and we are sufficiently aware of the competitor you pointed out. These are known issues, because while both may increase the utility of life, they do not at alter one of the most fundamental rules of economics, diminishing returns. Add a, as a courtesy reiteration, consider the basic pizza example used when the subject is taught in most educational institutions. When hungry, the first slice of pizza will taste the best. As one eats more and more slices of taste, and utility decreases as hunger does. Eventually, one does not desire to eat anymore. The slices provide no enjoyment, no utility. Force oneself to continue eating beyond this point is sickening. Utility becomes negative. It's inaccurate and dismissive to compare life directly with pizza, as the former is made up of novel experiences, bonds, and other factors. However, it is also dismissive to declare them incomparable. Life is, fundamentally, a product that is consumed on a daily basis. Inevitably, the utility gained from its use will fall to negatives and the customer will desire something else. I understand that this clears up any misunderstandings you and your peers may have. Thank you for your time. Incident Report 7 Author Oleg Ekpatrosovad Date, January 12th, 2038. Whew. The first black market product for synthetic echinotrilene in, in appeared in Moscow. The product was being sold as a water distilled suspension named Pobek, while hypnotrilene's gelatin shell is designed to dissolve in approximately 24 hours. Pobek was compounded with several hallucinogenic substances, both commonplace and experimental. The attendant advertised result was not to inflict a perpetual comatose state, but rather to inflict perpetual lucid euphoric dreaming. General awareness of the product arose only after a search of pop and popularity led to nation and wide report of screamers and hallowing huts, as they were called in the media. By that point, an estimated 39% of Russians elderly, sick, and or impoverished were or and are currently afflicted. The same is true for 48 confirmed international instances.
a law enforcement right right on the distri on the distribution center led to the recovery of four hundred fifty six capsules lost on route to o Japan. <sighs> Rather than bypass pharmacokinetics, as hypnotrilene does, Hobex's ex boot like mass extra simply redirected re metabolism. The brain suddenly became more active over time. A combination of high concentrations of antidepressants, narcotic substances, and the basic hypnotrilene formula itself. Resulting in the subjects succumbing to deep sleep apnea in their comatose state. The result was widespread inevitable sleep terrors. According to the testimony provided by still conscious manufacturers, order for hip a trillion pills were used to develop the knockoff, and an additional 12 were sold independently. Thus, 2,688 trillion capsules remain in external circulation as part of a black market competition endeavor. The illicit drug agencies of Libya, South Africa, China, and Nicaragua are currently being monitored. Yearly sale of records. These are records from 2020 to 2059. I'm going to skip gears that have no sales or comments. In 2021, they sold one. In 2023, they sold three. In 2024, they sold four. In 2025, they sold 12, including first family order. In 2026, they sold nine. In 2027, they sold 16. In 2028, they sold 19. In 2029, they sold 17. In 2030, they sold five. Shift of utterly stolen black market speculation, poorly handled by PR. In 2031, they sold 19. In 2032, they sold 23. The next year, 24. In, 2020, in 2034, they sold 35. In 2035, they sold 39. In 2036, they sold 47. In 2037, they sold 42. In 2038, they sold 12. And a smart base affected by Pogue Bag. In 2039, they sold 1. In 2040, they sold 97. Hobag and Collapse's proxy retroactive bulk orders is involved. In 2041, they sold 74. In 2042, they sold 882. In 2043, they sold 101. In 2044, they sold 54. Prometheus Labs deploys additional full body transplants. In 2045, they sold 51. In 2046, they sold. In 2046, Remedius Labs deploys commercial full body transplants. In 2048, they sold 1. In 2049, they sold 11. In 2050, they sold 10. In 2051, they sold 15. In 2052, they sold 17. In 2053, they sold 14. In 2054, they sold 43, bulk order from the Vatican included. In 2055, they sold 29. In 2056, they sold 35. In 2057, they sold 59. Frog begins to gain popularity. Variable market externalities involved. See market strategy 2057 and beyond. In 2058, they sold 178. In 2059, they sold 312. <sighs> Archive correspondence translated. This is between Su Yun Li and Ji Su Kim. Records from June twelfth, twenty fifty six at 932 Okay, I'm up. What do you want to talk about? Do you have the hypnotrillion file open? Do I need to? Fetching it. It's difficult to understand otherwise. 
So I hit an enter before second message. I have it. All right, you're looking at sales. Look at the trend. This frog may be growing in popularity, but it's more elastic than anything I've ever seen. The market experiences a freeze and hip, if if the trillion fills a tornado, it breaks in half one way or another. We haven't made a single sell after luxury EFB ETs it's got rolled out, and we made a killing once Pub egg imploded. Did you actually read the Pub egg report? Most purchases were proxy. To put the screen was actual sleep. I didn't we saw a spike higher than that than before the back like market. So I'm saying without reading. The growth is good, but it's not as good as it could be. We could re replicate the Pub egg effect. The Pobeg effect? You know what it did to people, right? It wouldn't cost much to do, and you saw on the chart right, how much profit it brings in. Set for market enough, and we won't have to deal with the risky elasticity. It'd just be a matter of controlled market stimulation. I forwarded some ideas and deployment centers to your email. Could you open it? We could make a pretty good case to management if both marketing and PR itch it. Jisoo, I'm not going to be responsible for any more of the shit that Pobeg caused. I'm tired. I really am. So give this a rest, please. So Yun Lee disconnected at this time, which is 9.40. If you look at the attached map, focus on North America. There's already an established drug route that sketches from uh, of Chile to, to Quebec. They're already bolstered up by the minimization of risk nowadays and right for more products. Oh. GC Kim also disconnects at this time. That is the log's end. Marketing Strategy 2057 and Beyond. Author GC Kim. Date June 12, 2057. Starting 2058, marketing for. Hip if Otrillion will be more active than it previously was using Hu Yun Li's passive availability strategy. The new strategy will be a multi pronged approach, and at all estimates predict sales rising to at least 300 in a single year upon implementation. Moving forward, Hip Otrillion will enjoy a much more proactive advertising campaign, while before advertisers were only directed towards the demographic determined to be most sensitive to the youth. With Asia, Hypnotrillion will instead be advertised universally just like any other supply chain product. Supplementary commercials encouraging its use will also be e sent, targeting individuals whose psychological asthma profiles indicate high degrees of exhaustion and or depression. Furthermore, Hypnotrillion capsules will no longer be sold alone. Mastercard and Dark will offer commentary custom crafted tombstones on for individual buyers. Customers who make more oak orders will have the option of choosing between tombstones or mausoleum. In order to increase both Hypnotrillion's equilibrium price and demand, Mastercard and Dark will also develop new marketing materials to simulate both actual and perceived comp competition. This can be achieved by simulating both the black market and the pharmaceutical industries, or not an alternative. Inclusive Hypnotrillion in the short term is inconsequential. Controls on market stimulus and R&D will ensure to compare products initially performed as advertised. Flaws should only become apparent after prolonged widespread usage. Eventually, flooding the market with defective products will lead to global collapses identical to the Pobeg collapse of 2040, probably ushering in a comprehensive and lasting surge in hypnotrillion sales. And that appears to be the way that Marshall Carr and Dark is planning to sell Hypnotrillion. As you can see, their methods are highly unethical, in the end at least. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I will see you 
But tomorrow with probably some more of this because I kind of miss doing this. Goodbye.